Uh, so we've talked already about how Swift works with React. You mentioned Flutter briefly as well, because th that sort of, uh, it's like a triad almost, folks coming to the platform and thinking, well, do I choose React? Do I choose Swift UI? Do I choose Flutter? How do those things really compare in, in your eyes and which would you recommend the most? So Flutter is an interesting case. A lot of people are very, very excited about Flutter right now. And I can see two scenarios. And of course, this is just my opinion. Uh, one thing is that people are tired of React Native at the moment because of the shortcomings of React Native. As someone who has t taught two courses about React Native, I can say that um, it does a lot of basic things well, just like the web. I, you know, I love the web. Don't get me wrong. But when I code, when I design on the web, I definitely don't feel the same freedom as I have for Swift UI or for, you know, a UI kit. Uh, in terms of animations, in terms of like all the things that you can do, all the technologies you can do. It's great for sort of like a visual website, right? Like, you know, you go here, you scroll down, you click here, that's it. But when it comes to the phone, right, you have access to the camera, to the, you know, location, to... Uh, to, to all of these things, the sound, all of these things are very standard. That and, and not just that, but also the animation. On the web, try to create a website that transitions from every screen to another. You, you're not going to see, like 99% of websites are not going to do that because it's too complex to do it. But on, on, uh, on SwiftUI or UIKit, you're going to see a lot of that. There's a navigation view, which do does that by default anyways. But in SwiftUI, you can create these uh, animation states, and you can put views on top of another view using a Z stack. You can hide them. You can use a condition. It's amazingly easy. So my thinking is that I think React Native is kind of like saying, hey, we can make cross-platform apps, but we're going to use the limitations of the web. Or at least we're gonna we're not gonna be able to do as much as you can, at least layout wise. I'm not saying you cannot do all of you know access to the camera and all of the technologies, but there's definitely it feels like there's a middle a middleman or um, you know a middle person that's trying to say to translate everything that you do in React Native to make it work natively. Um, and I and and the thing is, it's also made by uh, by Facebook, which means that. It might not have the same access as if it was made by Google or Android or Apple. Um, and, uh, and Flutter was made by Google, so that I think that's interesting. Uh, it feels more native in terms of the way you develop apps. And, uh, you know, there's a lot, there are far more resources. So one thing as, as a React developer um, is that React is amazing. But at the same time, we all know that React relies on so many third-party libraries, right? There are so many things you have to download that you have to depend on in order to create something meaningful. And React Native is not very different from that. So, and, and by the way, I'm not saying this to shit on React Native, right? Like, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I'm just saying this to be, to have a, a, a fair opinion as much as I can to, to, to speak on the strength of each. Um, I can say constraints in UIKit sucks, right? <laughs> so, but Flutter, if you look at it, they have so many components readily available for you. They, they have created animate, their own animation library. You don't have to download a lot of third-party stuff. And, uh, and I think that's why people are so excited about Flutter. But as someone who has kind of like looked into Flutter a little bit, I can say that uh, Flutter um, is, is, um, is a notch less simple uh, than SwiftUI. And again, this is based on my limited, limited experience. But I encourage everyone to try both, right? Try Flutter and look at the code. All I can say is that from a designer perspective, I look at this Flutter code and I look at the Swift UI code. I feel like the Swift UI code is way more readable, easier to approach. Um, there's a lot of weird things that I, I try to wrap my mind around like scaffold and they have so many th components uh, on top of each component. It's kind of like it, when I read Flutter code, especially the, the template that they give, it's kind of like me going to the app delegate uh, in Swift UI first and try to read that before getting the content view. And uh, I guess that's kind of my feelings right now. And I'm not saying it's not gonna change, but this is uh, how I feel right now. I think it's really important that we have these options out there. 
Just like, you know, if you want to write a Mac OS app, you can choose AppKit, which is awesome. You can choose Catalyst, which is very, very good. And a Swift UI too, which is up and coming. You know, you can choose which one makes the best choice for you, the best option for you. And of course you could choose um, Electron if you don't mind burning through some RAM. But having React Native or having Flutter, having um, now Swift UI, I hope we can get ideas from them. More ideas, obviously we've got stacks already from React, but look at these things and steal ideas, you know? That's what great artists do, we steal ideas. And I, they, they all have their own pros and cons. React Native, I, you know, I think it's a bit of a misnomer. Yes, it does native rendering, but it doesn't necessarily mean native controls. You know, they'll do their own drawing of certain things because they can, you know, it's custom buttons or custom navigation or whatever you want to. So it can be cross-platform as opposed to the native built-in iOS tools. And of course, Flutter, as you said, is is made by Google. So lots of folks uh, are out there uh, are thinking, well, I've seen killed by Google.com. Um, I don't fancy backing that horse, quite frankly, because we've seen too many times in the past where big things have gone, you know, wow, from Google, and they've been brilliant, and then they've disappeared in a year, 18 months, two years. That team has moved on to other things. The novelty's worn off, the money wasn't there, whatever it is changed, the use case changed, and Google got bored of it and killed it. And if you are a small company, you can pivot around freely and change your mind as much as you want to, fine. But some of us support apps for years and years and years. We want code that works reliably for a very, very long time that we can rely on. And that investment in our learning lasts a long time as well. We can say, yeah, learn this thing. That will last me a long time. I don't get that feeling from Flutter, at least not at this time. Um, I, I might have a different opinion. And I, I guess... I have a, a, a unique perspective in the sense that we get a lot of feedback from different platforms, right? Like I know a lot of folks out there are focused on one platform. So for me, I do get a lot of feedback. I teach all different courses, all different platforms, all different design tools. I don't have a preference on one. I just look for the best ideas. I don't think Flutter is going to go away. Um, looking at the excitement, looking at what people are creating with Flutter, looking at the amount of updates that Google puts out there for Flutter, it feels like one that is ready to stay. That being said, um, I've always been a huge fan of Apple and I'm extremely biased, but at the same time, I'm okay with that, right? I just love to be able to buy a freaking, you know, uh, AirPods spending 200 bucks on this and say, I don't need to think twice about it. I'm happy with this decision and then being completely blown away after purchasing it. And I'm so used to this idea that Apple is going to blow me away at some point. And uh, that level of trust that I have on Apple is not something that I can compare to any other company. And so when, when I say, okay, well, SwiftUI is awesome, I also, in the back of my mind, I know that Apple is going to keep doing awesome stuff with it. And they have proven that um, with uh, all the technologies that they have put out there, all of their products. And so if I, if I was to put money on the table, I would definitely put SwiftUI, but again, I'm biased. Um, but that's not to say that Swift, uh, Flutter is not a strong contender. I'm really, really happy that people are kind of trying to go more towards the, the native route, even though we... I don't know what, you know, the difference between native and, and, and non-native anymore just because there's a lot of like little uh, gotchas, um, you know, when it comes to React Native, for example. But it's definitely not in the, in the days of Cordova and all of those platforms, um, you know, the, the sort of like web-based uh, platforms. Really? At least we got that <laughs> out of the way. <laughs> but React Native is kind of like the second step and now Flutter is like the third step. But, but UIKit and SwiftUI have always been the ultimate uh, tools for me. Awesome. 